Hello, hello. Y'all know I like to dance. Come on now, come on now. You wrote, you're gonna be in here, Gerald. You know it, you will be in here. Hello, Miss Brenda. Yeah, show off your work belly there. <laughs> Sometimes, I tell you, I told my husband, guess what? You're gonna be going live with me. Or else you're gonna go live by yourself if you keep harassing me. Mm hmm. Maybe you should go live by yourself today. Come on in here, I'll show you what to do. You know you want to. Hello, Miss Joanne. All right, just quickly sharing. Hello, Pauline. Where are you going? Some fun stuff. Shocking and talking. I don't even know what. It was hot out today. That's all I know. It was nice out. Come join. Come join the fun. Give me one second. You know the you know the deal. You know the routine. Ah, hopefully they figure something out, girl. Praying for her. Hugs to you cuz it's not fun when your mom's going through stuff. When my mom was here, she was sick the whole time. It was just, it was not good. I wish I could crank the music, but you know what Facebook will do? They will turn the sound off and then we'll lose all of it. Yeah, Tanner, what's up, Charlie? He's trying to yak at me. Okay, that's it. That's done. We did our sharing. We will get busy now. All right, so if you're new watching, I'm a, I'm a chalk couture designer. I'm Tracy. Hey, Miss Lucy. Hey, Tasha. This is going to be some fun. We're going to do some fun stuff with some scrappies again. Got some scrap wood. And we're going to do some giveaways tonight. So every 10 shares, we're going to give away a koozie, a cute koozie. Look how cute these are. You know you want to win one, so let's do some giveaways tonight. So 10 shares goes one giveaway, and then 22 Hey, Miss ja James, Mr. James. Are you using your phone? Yeah, why was that? I want to video of this thing. What thing? It's like a, a squirrel and he's like, ha! Is he squirreling at you? Ha! No. Oh. He's just like constantly doing it. All right, so let me tell you what I'm doing. Oh, gee. Yeah, you need your liver to function properly, right? Hello, Miss Gary. Okay, so I'm going to take brown and black acrylic paint for the this first one here. I'm gonna get a little dirty. Let me get my uh, my little towel ready. So this, I show people this trick all the time. Okay, is this stuck or what? I think it's stuck. So we're just gonna do like that then instead. All right, and then a little bit of brown. Ooh, that was a lot of brown. Then we're gonna take a wet wipe. Hey, Lisa. Is it true you got 90 degree weather? I just saw Gemma post 90 degrees. I'm like, I do not miss that about Reading at all. Like seriously, don't. We had 70, we're in the 70s and this weekend we're gonna be in the 80s. So I'm excited because you know what? This girl needs a tan. Like I go pure white, this is like white. I need a tan, I look better with a little bit of a tan. So bring on the sun. Definitely not 90 though, I don't want 90 degree weather. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the wet wipe and we're gonna make these look stained. This is the goal real quick like, and then we were gonna chalk on top of them. We do this a lot with my, at my classes, my Wednesday night classes, we do a lot of this kind of stuff where we make it look like it's stained. How simple is that, right? I'm using a wet wipe. You can use a paper towel that's just wet too. I always do the backs. I don't care what people think. If it's, it's the back, you want it to look good. So speaking of which, I'm gonna do this other one while we're doing it. Where is it? I'm gonna finish this back because I need it finished for a customer so get it done so it looks good while we're doing it how's your day been it's Thursday my day's been amazing 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 holy cow lots happening in the business today I hit a new rank in the company which I have been shooting for for two months and today I hit it super excited because that means your income goes up 
Girl, that stuff works really good. I'm not joking. I love the Cinegems Tanner. Instantly overnight you look tan and it's not like orange tan. I wish I had some actually. I might need to order some. I might need to. Because I've tried all different kinds of stuff and it, yeah, it makes you look orange. You don't want to look orange. Okay, let's just finish that one up. Finish the bottom. All right, look how quick and easy that was. Presto! Presto! So our team is rocking it. I'm not even kidding. Like everybody is just sharing and signing people up from Canada. It's been crazy. It's been a crazy couple days. So it's definitely a blessing. It's a blessing that I grew up in Canada and I had some contacts that I reached out to when I knew we were going there. You go out of your comfort zone sometimes to, uh, to do that. You're like, should I? Should I not? But I was brave enough to just mention it to a few people. And bonus, we are rocking it. So, to be able to get into a company at ground floor level, like how cool is that, right? Okay, so if you want it to be, so you see the, the, how the wood shines through? Yeah, no, it's really good. If you want to see a little bit more wood shining through, you just take a, um, a little bit more water and put it on here. And I'm just going to quick do the backside too. Backside I don't do quite as dark because it doesn't matter, but this is just a fun, easy technique. I don't like using stains because stains stain your fingers and you end up with stained fingers for like days and I don't like it. Whereas the acrylic paint washes right off and it's easy peasy. Okay, so let me just grab a paper towel because this will dry super fast and I'll be able to chalk on it right away. And I just wipe the excess paint off on the whole thing. See how simple that was? Scrap pieces of wood. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Hey, Rhonda. Um, what are they congratulating? Um, I ranked up in the company today. I've been trying for this rank and I hit it today. And so it was thanks to the hard work of my team. Let me tell you, we've all been busting the move together. I tell you, when I think back to when I signed up with Chocotur, when I found out about this company, I was like, Okay, you can craft and make money and run a business crafting? I was like, what? That is genius. Somebody was thinking, and I wish it was me. Wouldn't you like to be at the head of the company? Something like this that's going crazy. It's so popular right now. It's just blowing up. So fun. All right, getting this done. You seeing how quick this is? So quick. Get yourself some acrylic paint. Find somebody that does construction. Thank you. Um, find somebody who does construction and snag all their scrap pieces of wood because seriously, these are gonna turn out super cute. Just little pieces of scrap. We have these tiny little transfers that are perfect for it. Look at my fingers. The bonus is it'll wash off, right? Okay, a tiny little bit. Oh yeah, this one doesn't work. Okay, there we go. So this weekend we were thinking to put our pool up because it's going to be 80 here soon and that's what we need for it to heat up. Tanner's like itching to get in it. I'm like, it's going to be cold still. But we use like a, um, it's not a solar way to heat it, but we designed this where you hook up your, um, you buy all this black hose and you circle it on a big board and then you put it out in the sun and it circulates with a pump into your pool and it literally heats our pool up. It's amazing. It brings it up a couple, I want to say it brings it up 10 degrees from what I remember last year. I started Chaka Tour in the end of October. So, and I'm already, like the, the rank I just hit right now is fourth from the top, which is crazy. It's really crazy. The next rank that I'm shooting for is third from the top, and it's pretty awesome. So it's a pretty cool company, let me tell you. And they reward you in such a big way. This rank that I just hit now, because I hit it, you get a one-time bonus. 500 bucks was my bonus. I was like, I'm pretty shocked and pretty happy. So now I'll have money to go to Texas, because we're going to Texas for the Chalk Couture Convention uh, end of June, and I'm going with about four 
four teamies, so that's gonna be fun. Gonna be fun, I'm excited. I've never been to Texas. Anybody know been to Texas? Right, Joanne? But I heard mom was saying you guys are gonna get some pretty decent temperatures. Well, she is in Lethbridge. She was saying this weekend it's supposed to be 19 or, or 20 or I don't even know, 20, no, 20 something, 23 or four. Okay, I gotta clean up my mess before I get going. All right, so every 10 shares, we're gonna do a giveaway. So somebody kind of keep me posted on that as we go, cause I'm not seeing it. Cause I'm got my music on right now. Yeah, and Joanne ranked too, girl. We both ranked together, we needed each other. <laughs> Rocking and rolling. Super fun. We have a rocking team. Everybody helping each other, supporting each other. Super nice. Okay, so check these out. They turned out good. Like I dried them up good. Presto, ready to go. So I'm gonna leave these ones because I did them. Whoops, because I did them last. So, oh, cool. See, we're going to Dallas, Texas. That's where we're going. I'm pretty sure Dallas, Texas. Okay, squeegees. Now we need some colors. And I need to find my transfers. Where the heck did I put my transfers? Oh, I wanted to show you something real quick too. Hang on, I gotta find my find my transfers I was gonna use. I don't wanna open these ones just yet. Where are they be? My luck, they'll be upstairs or something crazy. Cause I'm never prepared. I'm telling you, every time I come down here, I'm not prepared. I, I literally wing it. You know my post today that said, what did it say? Something about love is having a full craft room. Yeah, if you've seen my craft room, it's very small. It's probably 10 by 10 by 11 room. Not even probably maybe eight by 11, but it's crammed, packed with stuff. Crammed. So I just walked down here and it's like a store. All right, so I'm not finding it. So I guess I'm gonna have to cut these ones. Oh, here they are. Good golly, they're right before my eyes. Okay, so something that Chocotour is really good for is um, if something happens to your transfer, which it happens sometimes, um, they'll replace your stuff. You just gotta send pictures and you have to um, send pictures and then send them your like day that you purchased it kind of thing. So I had one of my transfers, which one was it? Oh yeah, my pineapple one, this little pineapple one here. I love this whole sheet of transfers. It's so much fun for hats and stuff. Um, my pineapple one, the very first time I used it, for some reason, some of the blue transfer pulled off. And so I just messaged them with a picture and they sent me a whole new transfer. So they are amazing when it comes to fixing things that go wrong. So I'll put these to the side. I'm gonna do mom boss on this one. Mom boss. Boss mom, I don't remember. Last time I did mom boss. Let's do boss mom this time. All right, so screen print transfer, stick to your finger. It's got the screen in there. You see the screen in there. So we're gonna stick it on here, get it right. Let me just make sure I got room for my mom. Yep. Okay, stick it on, get all the bubbles out. And then you're gonna grab your chalk paste. That's cool breeze. I don't want cool breeze, I want. Teal. Teal's my favorite. All right. I think I have like 25 chalks. So it makes it sometimes hard to decide what color you want to go with, right? So literally just going to take my squeegee, drop it in here. And you're going to see how something simple, just a little piece of wood. I should have, I should have actually fuzzed it probably a little bit, but I forgot. You get talking and things happen, you know. So I don't know about you guys, but does anybody check their Facebook memories? Because you know how every day new you can look at your memories from last year. Does anybody check them out every day? Let me know if you do. Okay, just literally squeegeeing it off, putting it in the container. I love to check it because it's, it shows you, you know, your memories from the last year. Yeah, you know what? These ones, I don't wax these wood ones. They don't tend to stick so bad. If it's, a, it's These are pretty, like, nice surface. But if it's rough, I definitely want to wax it because it would not be good. 
Oh, I'm trying to see the, the rest of the comment. Oh, darn. Can you, can you fix it, I wonder? All right, quick blow dry. Yeah, I literally, every day I go on and I check because, I don't know, I love looking at the memories. It just makes my heart happy. It also reminds you, like, where you've come from. Last year was a rough year for me. And so, you know, seeing some of the things from yesterday and today were a reminder of how far I've come from because I had two big surgeries last year, one unexpected, and then all of a sudden, um, my other big surgery, it was a rough, rough year. But in my stuff, it was always like, stay positive, push through, and that's what I'm all about. You got to stay positive through the hard times, and you learn through it. I tell you, you learn so much. Okay, a little bit of water in here because this one's already getting a little bit dry. Hello, Dawn. Yeah, I love that, that it shows you like however far back. There's stuff on there from when Tanner was a little baby even. It's crazy. It's so fun. And you know, some, some of the stuff that is on there, the reason why I like looking every day is because sometimes, I mean, I dropped my phone in the ocean one time and I lost all my stuff. So there's a lot of pictures that you post to Facebook that you can grab, you know, you have to wait a whole year because it doesn't even let you search that far down, but it comes up. So if you just search every day, if you look every day at your memories, then you can oftentimes find the things you've been missing. Like the videos, there are some funny videos. Tanner, one of them, he's the snail boy. He's got snails crawling up his face. I have to find it and save it because it is the funniest thing ever. When he gets bigger, it's just gonna be hilarious. That one, and then there's another one of him when he ate an ant. It's really, really funny. Aww. That doesn't sound like me. He made you soup when you were sick. That's so sweet. You're like, yeah, that was you. Maybe you ought to go back to those doing those things, right? So sweet. All right, I think this is ready. This is really dry. I think I have a couple whites. That's probably why. All right, quick, quick. Here we go with the white. Yeah, the one where he ate, <laughs> the one where Tanner eats the ant. I don't know if anybody's seen it because it's been on a few times. I've shared it. He comes in from outside and he's like all sad. He's, he's only three years old. And he's all sad and he's like, mom. And I'm like, what's the matter? And he's like, I ate an ant and his little voice is the cutest little thing. And I'm like, well, why would you eat an ant? And he's, he's walking in circles and he's just like, I don't know why I did it. And he's, he's like so stressed. And I said to him, well, now how are you going to get it out? And he's just like walking and walking and walking. And all of a sudden he says, I'm going to go poop it out. And I was like, I started laughing my head off. I'm like, who says, who figures that out? I'm going to go poop it out. So he goes walking off to the bathroom and I'm just like cracking up, like so stinking funny. I'm like, I got to send that to the funniest home videos because it's so funny. I'm going to go poop it out. What are you doing, Gerald? I can hear you, boy. I can hear you. You're stalking me again. Some of the ones that win the funniest home videos were just like shaking our heads like, really? Did that really just happen? Okay, so I'm going to take some burlap on here. Oh, let me show you first real quick. There we go, boss mom. Oh, you're so funny. Goodbye, Gerald. <laughs> boys. Boys will be boys. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna go three times around here. I don't know what it is about three, but I always feel like I gotta do three times. And I have my glue gun on today, thankfully. All right. Just a little time. 
Darndest things. Our kids will do the darndest things when they're little, right? Okay, now I'm gonna take one of these cute little flowers. I wanna decide which one I wanna do. So these flowers I got in the section where the headbands are. They're super cute little burlap flowers. Look how cute these are. So cute. All right, get my glue gun out. Yes, I was like, I'm gonna show your wife this for sure. That one and the snail boy one. Oh my gosh. The snail boy one is so stinking funny. I have to find it and post it again because it's so hilarious. <laughs> All right. Let me show you. Let me show you. All right, so look how cute and simple that was. That was like how many minutes, I bet. Not very many minutes. We stained it to make it look like stained wood. We put the chalk on and we add a little floral on the side and a little burlap. And what do you think? If you think it's cute, show some love. Show some love. Super cute. That'll make a cute little gift, right? All right, now let's do these puppies. My, my my internet has been lagging today. I don't know what's going on. My my computer has been like backed up for some reason. All right, looking through my little... So these little transfers are like the best. They're just tiny. There's like whole sheets of them that you can purchase. You can use them on all kinds of stuff. And so I'm like trying to figure out what I want to put on these ones. The wander list. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, spring. I think I have a few upstairs I'm missing. I like the bird one too, but I've done it before. Um, let's go with Bloom and Grow. Bloom and Grow. I think that's the one I want to go with. Find yourself some, some wood and then get yourself some transfers and you're set to go. All right, I think we're gonna do the, oh, I don't wanna do this one. I'm torn. I'm torn, I'm torn. Maybe I'll do this one. That's what I'll do. Okay, they all go together, kind of. Okay. I finished the back of the mason jar already today. Did you see me do it Do it the other day? I did this one the other day. I did it yesterday. Look how cute it turned out. Super adorable. This is for a customer. She's actually hosting a party this month, so that'll be fun. Okay, let's see if this is going to fit on here. Tropical. I'm trying to see if one of them is wider than the other one, maybe. No, they're about the same. Okay, so I love palm trees. This is all about the vacationing. Santa Barbara is my home birth town, and it always just, palm trees bring me so much joy. They remind me of my childhood, growing up in Santa Barbara. Miss those days, living on by the beach, walking to the beach every day. And it wasn't too hot there, it wasn't like redding. <laughs> Yeah, it was yesterday, so if you, I think it was yesterday, or was it the day before? Um, I think it was yesterday. No, it was the day before. Yesterday's was the tray, and what else did I do yesterday? Oh my gosh, my days get mingled into all kinds of stuff. Yes! That's awesome. My husband's amazing at helping me. He's always, I'm always telling him what I need cut. Now I have my own sauce, and now I just got to get out there now that the weather is nice and uh, get going at it. Okay, so I'm going to literally do a little bit of the light green, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the dark green. I'm going to give it the blended look. And I cut my little mini squeegees in half so that they make it easier to use, because when you have little itty-bitty transfers like this, you have to have a small squeegee because you're going to blend everything together and it's just not going to be what you want so okay so I'm leaving the chalk a little bit thick just for a minute while I do the bottom because I want to be able to pull it off in one swipe a little bit of white on the vacay part on the bottom we could all use a vacay we need one Gerald and I need one but we made a decision we're like, we're just not gonna go on a holiday and we're gonna take that money and put it towards our bedroom addition. We're building a bedroom off of our upstairs. 
with a bathroom in it. OMG. I'm so excited. When you go from having three bathrooms to one, it's a big transition. Too, too crazy. Okay. And for some reason these days, I got to get up at five in the morning to go to the bathroom. So I'm like halfway asleep. I'm walking up the stairs to the bathroom. All right, look how cute that is. Super cute, right? A little piece of wood with a little decor and look what happens. I'm gonna finish it in just a minute too. All right, now we're gonna go in with the tropical vibes. I think we're gonna do it like this. And then we're gonna do the wanderlust. The wanderlust, so we're wandering all over to try and find where we wanna be, right? Okay, again, a little bit of greenish mixed with the other green. It's gonna be a little threesome set here, so it'll be cute. Oh gee, I just went and dipped it in where I shouldn't have. Good thing it's green with green. Okay, quickly just get this part covered up. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. That's what I'm here for, to answer questions. Mm. I'm going to go in with the teal, one of my favorite colors, teal, and I think I'm going to do white. Let's use my multi-tool because it's got the small end. The multi-tool has the small end, so it's really easy to get into small places then. And it's good for stirring your chalk paste too. Must have item. There we go. Okay, try not to mix the colors. I think I just did a little bit with the green, but that's okay. Okay, let me squeegee off the screen. Almost done, ready to pull it off. So cute. I honestly love making, hello Eddie. I love making little things like super, super cute, right? So there's number one and then there's number two so far. So it'll be a little set of three. Let's see, I'm gonna go like this real quick and just see. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, going in with the Wanderlust. Cause you know, if you're going on vacation, you're gonna have a suitcase, right? And I'm gonna do this one in a nice bright, let's see. Where's our coral? Coral and teal go so well together. Look at this, the coral and the teal. So pretty.